guys welcome back to our channel so it's just me today christian's at work and i'm at home with baby otis say hi hello got his toy in front of him and yeah i just wanted to do a little recap i think he's about when you're gonna well he's right now he's three and a half months old which is crazy We've had him for three months already. He's growing so fast. Um, every time we go out with him, people always, I think people think he's like a lot older because he's just kind of long. He's a long baby, so maybe he'll be tall. Yeah, but he's doing good. We've taken him to church now, so he's met lots of friends. And uh, he's had his first Easter and Christmas. Uh, he went to his first birthday party at one of our friends here. Um, her daughter turned one, so we were invited. So he went to his first party, which is really fun. Got to see another baby, and I think he actually noticed, like, oh, there's a little girl. And I've gone on lots of, like, coffee dates with some of my friends, and some of them have babies, too, so that's been fun. Right now, me and Otis are at a cafe with our friend, my friend Catherine. And Otis is in the stroller. Yeah, we're having some soup. And it's really fun. I like going out here with Otis. Mm. It's like 10 minutes from our house, so we just walk down here like every couple days and go by the water, get some cafe food. And it's fine. He's doing good. Otis. Okay, Otis. Hi, Otis. So, yeah, and I take the stroller out like, almost every day, unless it's really bad weather or I have to do something at home. Um, we try to go on walks every day, which is really nice. I think he really likes the stroller and like just being out and like seeing stuff. There's so many pretty flowers. Like this bush. Wow, look at these. Really nice. See, we got some cherry trees over there. And we actually took a picture, me and Otis, because last spring when we were pregnant, or I was pregnant, I took a picture of a cherry tree and then we recreated it with Otis, which is really special. Oh, that's nice. So cute. <laughs> Taking Otis for a stroller walk. This is what I do almost maybe every second day during the week. And uh, it's been an adjustment for me not having a car because we only have one car in the family. So Christian needs it for work. So like I've always had a car <laughs> as an adult. So it's like, oh, this is weird. I don't have a car during the day, but it's okay. It has forced me to just walk more, which is really nice. And Otis gets to see outside a lot. So we do that. Sometimes we go even when it rains, but it's always obviously nicer when it's like today. It's kind of overcast, but um, yeah. We're gonna go look at a thrift store, just because it's right by us. And then sometimes we go down to the gorge by the water. Sometimes we hang out with friends, you notice. So it's fun. And uh, I think I might have the wrong setting on because it looks very overexposed. Christian's gonna be like, hmm. Anyways, I have a hair in my mouth. I literally have hair in my mouth all the time because I'm shedding so much hair postpartum. <laughs> but yeah, um. Yeah. So yeah. Excuse you. You sneezed. You're the one I've waited. Oh. Oh my god! 
in the park, right? Got a cute outfit on. We're waiting for daddy to finish work. So we're just hanging out at the park. And you're watching the kids play. <laughs> Hi, Otis. Um, yeah, and I like it. Like, it's just, it's really nice. I get to explore things that I don't usually do when I'm driving. And I just, I don't know what it is, but I love going on stroller walks. So it's been really fun. Mommy and baby adventures. And I can't wait till it's warmer, like summer weather, so that we can go to the beach. Like, well, we've gone, we've, he's seen the beach. I should say he has seen the beach, but I mean like with the sandbox and when he's actually old enough to sit down. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, he, we don't quite think he's teething yet, but sometimes we think he's on the early edges. Yeah, hi baby, <laughs> look at me. Or we think he's kind of like early starting because we can see white in his gums since like two months actually. And he's at the phase where he loves to stick everything in his mouth, like his hands and everything. Sometimes he tries to suck on my hand. Yes, um, his finger did kind of get a little swollen, so we had to take him to like, well we had to call a doctor because I didn't know what was going on. But it looks like he was just kind of like chewing on them too hard. So they kind of got swollen. So we kind of have to like make sure he doesn't suck on his fingers too much. Um, yeah. And then he has a bit of eczema for about a month now, which is really sad. So he's like always so itchy. And we're trying to treat it with like um, different kinds of creams and stuff. So I don't know. <coughs> yeah. Um, he hasn't fully rolled over yet. But he's trying. Like when I put him on his side, he kind of like twist a bit. He doesn't really like tummy time yet. I think it's because he hasn't officially rolled over that he feels stuck. Um, but he's getting better at it. So we do that every day for a little bit. And he's getting a little stronger in his neck. He loves his toys and his crib. And he loves to be held. He's definitely um, in the clingy phase where he wants to be held all the time. But I'm not complaining. I absolutely love it. It's just hard to sometimes like get things done in between. But um, I love holding him and I know it won't last forever so it's cute and I had just actually started um, using the baby wrap as well. <sighs> he laughs a lot, it's so cute. I think he started laughing like officially, like his official real laugh. March 8th was it? So just a few weeks ago. Cute me and Christian caught it together, right? He loved it. He smiles a lot. He's overall a very happy, chill baby. He just gets fussy when he's hungry, like normal people, <laughs> normal babies. And I think he's also just a little bit uncomfortable with his eczema, so that makes him a little more fussy. And then I have this app which kind of shows when babies are going through certain developmental stages or like changes that most babies get a little bit fussy because it's a lot for them. 
So it kind of helps me to understand like, why is he extra fussy this week? And I'm like, oh, he's learning something new. So yeah, but overall he's such a chill, happy little boy. He's kind of funny. I was trying to see a bit of his humor. Like, hi Otis. <laughs> um, like sometimes uh, he'll, like, he'll cough when he like chokes on milk or whatever. But then sometimes he'll kind of like almost like fake cough. And then I'll come to make sure he's okay. And then when I come, he's like, hey. I'm like, and then he's like, <laughs> I'm like, you little boy, you are silly. It's funny. Um, yeah, I'm using a very wide angled, whatever, lens because uh, this is the one Christian gave us. So we can use it when we're out together. Hi, Otis. Say hi. We're still not sure his eye color right now. They're blue still, but I know they can still change. So we don't know if they'll be brown or blue, but right now they're blue. And uh, he's got hair at the back of his head. Um, yeah, and it's fun. Like trying to, me and Christian will sometimes talk about like, what, what features does he have and stuff. And sometimes like we've said, sometimes he looks like just a, his own person. You know what I mean? Like, which is true. He is his own person. But sometimes we're like, he doesn't look like me or you. He just looks like Otis, which is cute, but. Um, we think he has my smile for sure. Um, and I think we're trying to figure, I think he might have Christian's nose, his ears. We're not sure about the eyes. It's kind of like me and Christian have very similar eyes, like big, but I, I don't know. Um, but he's so cute. He's like a perfect mix of everybody and so many generations. Sometimes I see my brother in him too, which is crazy. Um, yeah, but we love him. We love being his parents. He's a bit crazy right now. But yeah, he's not sleeping through the night yet. I know that's not uncommon until like six months, but hopefully soon because I'm a little tired. And yeah, um, yeah. Okay, if I think of anything else, I will include it in this video, but that's it so far. Going for a car ride, Otis. Oh yeah, I know. I saw that the other day. You just have to don't forget that. There's the Empress Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks nice. We used to live on a sailboat. <laughs> Good old days. No, I love living here. Yeah, me too. happening people we finally have a little bit of some time off uh, it's been a busy 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 time maybe yeah. we're a little bit tired we're a little bit sleepy if that's okay no, that's tired. normal you can move more this way and not so there you go and uh we're here it's sunday afternoon and uh just we're here at james bay and uh this is where it all started just enjoying the the view and uh, getting some view of the ocean that's the excitement as parents that's yeah that's getting the view quickly that's what we're doing yeah we went yesterday to our friend's house and we had um colombian food which is good yeah we went to uh monica camillo's place they gave us uh colombian arepas yep it's good it's like in between a taco uh, and a pupusa. That's how I describe it. We had two, two each, and uh, tea. we had some tea. It was nice to hang out with them. Yeah. I like them. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I'm serious though. Why can't we just buy a mobile home? <laughs> I know we've been over this millions of times, but we could afford no. one. We could afford a mobile home. We could afford a mobile home, but here's the problem. The one that overlooks the ocean. Too. The value depreciates, Who right? Who cares? Live in the moment. And <laughs> it's it's good for an immediate fix but it's poor financial decision for long term or why can't you get a mobile home that has wheels under it so that you can move it if they land it's gone you can move your house somewhere to land or we can buy land and put a long ford a big big horn trailer you know those days you know and you know the nice one right we're like like it was very cozy it had like little steps to go into the living room you like that place <laughs> we still have the adventure spirit inside. 
This is the crazy side we, of us we talking. We start to panic and start to think crazy. Like we lose touch of reality. We're like, we're gonna live in a treehouse. Oh man! You know you like what it. What is going Let's on? Let's just quit our job, live in a sailboat, and make videos. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Look at me, people. Look, Look at me. This may not go on the internet. <laughs> There are times when I want to simplify things and just go right back onto the boat and enjoy the nature and the beauty and everything, but here's the problem. We're watching you. <laughs> the problem is that it's not easy to change a baby's diaper, give him a bath. On a boat. Um, if there's a storm, you know, it's a little bit unstable. The power can go out. So we have to wait till little Odie Bodhi grows up a little bit. You yeah, know? no, I'm just joking. But it is our intention to eventually one day do it at least maybe as a weekend type thing yeah. maybe as a part-time full-time thing yeah. i don't know maybe just in the summer we would like to but we just gotta wait till the kids are just a little bit older but in the, too old to you know in the meantime what we can do is we can always do it like as a weekend thing mm. you know, oh, yeah. that's something that we've been wanting to do is maybe just do it as a weekend thing yeah you know what's crazy just what? side note in about 15 years from now you're gonna be a senior Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? What? A fish just jumped up out of the water. Oh yeah, the whole, yeah, there's fish in there. Really cool. The other day apparently there was um killer whales in this area. Yeah, there was killer whales around but here. But we're never here when it happens, of course. So. Anyways. They're hunting seals. Yeah. Yeah, have to this. Like raptors. Goodbye, everyone. That's all we gotta say, people. That's all. That's all. I mean, I'm sitting in the back seat with Otis still because yeah, we haven't hooked up the lamp or the he's light. Back there, right? I mean, uh, mirror. <laughs> okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. So yesterday we took Otis to get his first Canadian passport, which was really exciting. So we went and got his photo taken and it was so cute. He was so cute. I think they got it on the second shot. So he did really good. Um, so yeah, and then I'm also gonna do the Danish passport. His Canadian passport is almost done. So he's getting all of his paperwork and all things in order. He's taking a nap right now. So if you hear his little sound machine going off, <laughs> that's what it is. And uh, yeah, I was just thinking, I made a post the other day on my social media about just my thoughts about having Iwodis and all these things and I just thought I'd share because I thought it was nice what I wrote, it's very true because we're very grateful every day. I said as soon as we started dating, me and Christian, 15 years ago, I knew I wanted to have babies soon but God's timing for us ended up being different than mine, 15 years later than I envisioned. It was hard waiting. But God knew what he was doing. He would answer our prayer for a miracle when it was right. He wanted to prepare us first. We had to leave a cult so we could worship the real Jesus. We had to heal, which is a lifelong journey, so we're still working on that. But we had to heal more from our traumatic childhoods. And we had to learn how to have a healthy marriage. All so this boy, our children, the next generation could have what we didn't have. Unconditionally loved, structure and stability, and free from a cult that doesn't know Jesus. And then the scripture I wrote, Jeremiah 29 11 says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So I just thought I wanted to share that. That was on my mind. And uh, if you're going through a season of waiting, whatever that it looks like right now, just keep trusting God and um, putting him first and believing that he is in control of his plans for you. Um, Obviously we have free will to do whatever we want, but if we want what's best, we would, you know, follow God's plan for us individually. Um, so just keep praying and trusting and however it turns out is the better way than you could have envisioned because even though I wanted to be a mom a long time ago, I know it's better now. And he's four months old now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's growing so big. <laughs>